Hey there, Chelsea Norton here, Monarch Alley. I am a vintage lover, thrifter, and a reseller. And today I have a special spooky haul for you. It's my Halloween haul as part of the challenge put forth by Erin at the Collection Vintage and Nicole at Nesting Haven. I'm so excited for this challenge because Halloween is the best. I love <laughs> I love this time of year and I love thrifting um, new decorations that I can kind of bring to new life in my home. Um, and I have quite a few items here. I have, I think, over the minimum of maybe seven. So yeah, I'm excited to show you. Some items I do plan to keep and decorate in my own home, but a few I do plan to put back into the wild um, and help some collector or just, you know, someone that's trying to get spooky decorate their homes so anyway um let me show you what i found but first i'd actually like to highlight one of the first few things that i found um i went ahead and listed and everything else that i have today i have not listed online but the one of the first few things was this cute i'll put it over here um frankenstein candy jar cookie jar and it apparently was just from i think michael's but it was super cute and definitely had vintage by vi vintage vibes and it sold um, on Poshmark, I want to say, for the same cost as what it was new. So anyway, that was a fast flip, actually, and super cute. So unfortunately, I don't have that to show you by hand today. Um, but some of the other items I found are really sweet and darling and a little spooky, too. So let me dive in. Um, the first thing, I have a few things that are nostalgic to me. So what I love picking up is stuff from the 90s and then stuff from, like, the 50s and 60s. So those are kind of my top two three decades, I guess, of items to pick up. Um, Looney Tunes, uh, I guess you would call this a platter or a treat tray of sorts. So as you can see from afar, it's, it's a pumpkin, it's a jack-o'-lantern. And then when you zoom in, you can see some Looney Tunes characters popping out there. Um, the text at the bottom has a 1996, yeah, a copyright. Um, so yeah, this is just really cute and fun. Um, I could honestly see myself using this year round, but to be able to put some treats in there um, for, you know, trick or treaters in future years, I think that would be really neat. Um, another nostalgic thing that I have, I am always on the hunt for these. This is a vintage, I guess you'd call it vintage now, um, McDonald's treat pail. So you can see, oh, there's a cat bear, the cat tail, and then the witch. And it's really neat because the pail actually has like, it's the witch's hat. And I was actually surprised to see it with it. Um, so yeah, I'll have this on display in the house because these treat pails are the best. I think there's a ghost one that is the one, or maybe a mummy, that is the one that I really, really want. Um, but there's quite a few of these, so I don't know. I don't know if they sell online for much, but I just wanted it for my heart. <laughs> I just wanted it for my own home. How cute. Um, this next item goes... I don't know what kind of route this would go. Would this be a little more retro looking because it's a brass kettle? Um, I don't know, but I do love it. I love that it has the handle and that um, this is a cutout and then the lid comes off so you can put a candle in there and how cute. I actually have thrifted, I've been thrifting for years and years and I have quite a few Halloween things that I love, but um, a smaller brass a um, little smaller votive holder. So these will look really cute together. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, and if I don't find a good spot for it, I might go ahead and list it on all the platforms, but I don't know. There's just something about like brass that I love. Anyway, I digress. Um, the next item that I have is a modern piece. This is from, I think the Target dollar spot, um, but it's just very cute. And I like that kind of retro truck vibe with the pumpkins in the back. Um, yeah, really pretty piece. So I found that at the local thrift. And keeping with kind of a ceramic vibe here. Sorry to get mm, close to the camera. Look at this cute tray. Now, this tray doesn't have any marking on the back. Um, but I, it's such a cool style. Like, I thought, I don't know. This is not something I'm going to keep because I don't really have a good spot for it. Um, but I love these like playful pumpkins and the kind of whimsical look of it all. And actually the same day that I found this, I found this other platter. This is gorgeous. Now it's a little bit darker of an orange, uh, more of a burnt orange, almost a red. But this owl is so cool with the bats flying. It's very Halloween spooktastic. 
and it's hand painted. I don't know if you can see there. You can see I paid five dollars for it. Sharon Bloom, um, and it has a TJ Maxx label. But you know these actually. Um, I've seen other similar pieces by Sharon Bloom selling on eBay for like $30, $40. So I don't know. I'm going to list this and see kind of what happens. But I need to list it soon because Halloween is approaching and who knows? Some people don't like to be spooky all year round like I do. So they might want it now as opposed to later. But I want to show you first. Um, okay. I'm so easily distracted today. Um, next I have, this is not necessarily Halloween, but I got this, these four um, little pails for a dollar at an estate sale. And I thought, so the green is beautiful and I could see people decorating for Halloween with that, but I thought these three together would look really nice with a candle kind of illuminating the designs. Um, and it gives me candy corn vibes. So I love candy corn. I know a lot of people don't. Do you, do you love candy corn? It's very, um, it's an intense debate with people I've noticed, <laughs> but anyway, I thought those three would be just some really nice kind of subtle ways to, to decorate for Halloween. Speaking of a nice little subtle way, I have this little paper takeout box. I think actually this kind of got thrown in with these at the estate sale. So it's nothing special. It's a paper takeout box, but I thought it would look really cute. just kind of tucked away, um, in the kitchen or something to, to give a little Halloween spirit. Okay, I actually just have a few items left. Um, a couple figurines. I don't know where this guy is from, but how cute is that? A little chubby skeleton. He's got um, a top hat and a spider there off to the side. Kind of, I don't know. Is it spider jumping on him or jumping away from him? I don't know. But I love how he just wobbles. It's made of metal. So yeah, super cute little guy. Um, and then, speaking of cute little guys, or gals, or just cute little characters. We have this little Halloween character. Now this is, is it focusing? This is like a Precious Moments character, right? With a dew drop eyes. I feel like it's definitely Precious Moments. Um, a little trick-or-treater devil. So I think it's kind of funny to see a Precious Moments ga uh, character as a devil. <laughs> but I saw this and had to grab it because I thought it was just so cute. So yeah, I haven't looked up anything um, online about like these, if they're collectible or not, but I thought it was just adorable. It could have been something that someone honestly like hand painted themselves. I don't know, but I love it. I love it. Yeah, I actually, um, I, ooh, I wish I would have grabbed them. I have a mug and like a candy jar that have trick-or-treaters silhouetted around the edges and they have like a little devil and witch and you know, kind of the ghost, all the little, um, I guess, typical imagery that you see for trick-or-treaters. So I think that's part of why this guy was so cute to me is that um, he kind of fits those typical costumes. Um, great. Okay, so I just have two items left and they are books. So um, the first one is a Nancy Drew book and my grandma used to collect these. And so I just think they're really special. So I saw this one and just grabbed it, The Mysterious Mannequin. I think it would look great on the mantle, you know, next to some of these other, um, I don't know, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it next to some of these other pieces lit up, um, or this guy just kind of in front of it, but a good decorative piece, but also a great book to read. So the mysterious mannequin. And then my last one is kind of going back to those childhood nineties vibes, a goosebumps book the uh, what is it welcome to dead house this is the first number one i don't know if you can see there number one so it's in kind of rough condition but um i just thought this would be an awesome pickup because i uh, my son is getting older and we can start reading spooky tales so i'm gonna try to read this to him and then um a friend of mine collects these so i'm just gonna gift it it's gonna be great so yeah, that is my Halloween haul for you. Um, stay tuned because I will continue picking up awesome Halloween stuff as um, the season continues. So I'm excited to share those in future thrift hauls. Um, so I have that planned and then I also have, check out my 10 dollars in 10 minute challenge videos. So I've got a few of those going now and those are videos where I actually go into a thrift shop and I give myself only a $10 budget to spend and I need to find 
whatever I'm gonna buy, I need to find in the first 10 minutes. And this is my way to, to one, kind of speed things up because I am a mom of two and I do work full time, so I only resell part time. Um, but the goal is to find items that I can flip um, to you know make back my money and then some. So I've had some really good ones where um, you know I found some shoes for four dollars that I flipped for sixty dollars thanks to eBay's global shipping program. So that was really cool. I'm always making my money back on the haul, which is great. Um, so anyway, check out those videos and make sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you're a candy corn fan or not. <laughs> and uh, are you gonna dress up for Halloween this year? I'm thinking about being, who should I say? I'm gonna say, I'm thinking about being Ardeth Bay from <laughs> the, um, 1932 original version of The Mummy. So my family's gonna do a Universal Monsters theme and I kind of want to be Ardeth Bay, which is The Mummy as he kind of humanizes himself. I don't know how to explain it, but he wears a fez and I've been looking for an excuse to buy a fez like my whole life. So a fez and a robe and you can just darken up the eyes. So that's kind of one thought that I have. We'll see what happens with that, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you're going to be for Halloween or what you thought of this haul, and I will see you next time. Bye!